Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be my uh, mid-level boss guide for trying to clear up to level 15. Uh, hopefully it's helpful. Um, oh, what's that? So, what do you guys want to talk about? Oh, well thanks for asking, Cody. I want to talk about boss battle. I hope you're interested. Alright, so mid-level boss battle. I put out my high level guides, so I'm not going to talk about high level guys that are good. Uh, if you have the Knoxville, Zombie HBK, KOs, Collies, um, Jimmy Uso with a Uso cap, refer to that video as that'll be the video for you. Now, this is going to focus on trying to get you as close through 15s as I can. Um, and to be clear, I've always cleared 20s. So I don't understand really the struggle of this. So I'm, I rely a lot on my Twitch community, the, the Twitch chat you're going to see here to help keep me in line when I'm trying to help with this. Um, the boss should have, if it's like it's been, around 500 million health. Um, so you want to plan on 500 million health. Uh, effective trap gems are 60 times. They're like a 60 times multiplier. Silence gems are 20 times, 2,000 percent, it's 20 times. So they're both nice buffs. Um, this will likely be at level 15, freeze two moves for three turns. So one will be open, a max unfreeze if you guys have it. Would highly recommend you invest in one guy for your boss breaker, get a max unfreeze, get a max exhaust, um, and get a max heal, and keep working towards that. Um, if you don't have a max, that's okay. Bring one unfreeze guy the best you can. It'll unfreeze some moves, but at 15, this should be two moves. Um, so if you can't, I expect this to happen turn one. May or may not be correct. Plan on that. Uh, you do have three turns to remove it. So even if you only have an eight or nine unfreeze, um, which you probably can get close to that just from the event alone as you go through the faction milestones this week, that can help you there. Um, this applies at nine and above. So if there's a single black gem on the board, you're taking more damage from the boss, uh, effectively doubling it. Neutralize will remove this, guys. That's the chaotic one. So like the, the KOs, um, if you have KO, will remove it. Um, Zombie Taker, Trickster Riddle. So neutralize if you're going multiple turns will be important or the damage is going to be doubled. Uh, as the turns go, this gets bigger. Keep in mind, however, if you have two max exhausts, which you probably aren't going to have uh, if you're watching this one, you'll take zero damage. But it's good to work towards, and you will take less damage even if your exhaust isn't maxed. So start using those breakers, getting used to them. You'll find you can get through more content as you use them. Start learning it. Okay, now as for guys that you can probably have on your roster and use, please ignore this slot. This one just sucks 100%. It's all mostly rare guys that are good here or people that you don't have. This is where you should be bringing your focus breaker to help with the, with the freeze, right? That's what should go in this spot. Now, some good guys you might have to focus on your max breaker. Um, Hall of Fame Nash, if he's a max guy, if you got him, I don't know. Wouldn't be the worst. He can do a lot of different things. Hall of Fame Brett. I don't love him, but if he's your guy, he's your guy. Obviously, guys like this guy and this guy and this guy are great to have them on. Probably not realistic, right? Uh, Seamus wouldn't be the worst. Kali wouldn't be the worst. Um, again, you likely may not have those guys. The important thing, if you don't have some of the super quote-unquote guys, this one is highly paywalled. Pick a guy you're taking six star to invest in. So at least you have them six star for boss battle. Um, you know, that sort of thing, if that helps. Um, there really isn't a ton of good options here. Um, zombie black uh, with the sub into the convert silence gems to green and all heart plate if you have it would do pretty well level 15 and below. Um, Biggie, does, I think he does silence. I don't know if he's going to be worth probably mentioning. Uh, does he do silence anywhere? No, no, it's botches. Okay, yeah, completely ignore Biggie. 
Um, somebody said him earlier, but I think they were thinking something else. So I just wanted to double check while I was scrolling through this. It's slim pickings, guys. Just bring your breaker. Put it on a six-star guy you like. That's good. Level him up. That's really all I can say. Um, that slot's really tough. Okay, this slot, Corbin, and I'm going to actually have some Corbin gameplay here for you. Um, let's let's go take a look at Corbin here uh, in a second. So some guys you might have here, probably just Corbin or potentially Jimmy. So if you don't have an Uso cap plate, Corbin should be better than Jimmy. And you, if you're a free-to-play player, if you have one six-star trickster, it should be this guy. Um, for this one, you will want to actually have gem damage. So you want to set him up gem damage based for this um, particular boss. Uh, and we'll run a stip battle here to show you kind of the idea. It's not perfect at all, um, but it'll help give an idea. Um, some options for trainers I'll go through because if you're watching this one, you may not have all these trainers. Uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. All right. So, Corbin. These will be the moves you want. Six star is going to be important for this. This is the trap gems. You're going to have them all over. Uh, Yokozuka Cutter. This will load the this move. And then you're going to choose to destroy a bunch. Entourage. Hopefully you have Gallows. He isn't necessarily paywalled, but he might be kind of rare. Destroying more black gems is good. If you don't have Ford for the red match, and you don't have Gallows, you probably just want to go two red MP trainers, Butch and Sting. If you don't have those, that would probably be the best bet. If you don't have Gallows, you do have Montez. Run one in Montez. Uh, might make recycling easier. Um... You don't know if there's another black destroy. Let me look real quick. Besides Gallows, I don't think there is. Uh, I'm pretty sure there isn't. Uh, that's red gems. Red gems. Yellow, yellow. Green moose. Yep. Nope. Nope. That's black gems. Yeah, that's going to be it. Right? So... That's your choice. So if you don't have Gallows, um, put a red MP trainer in uh, if you don't have Montez. If you have Montez and you have X-Pac, one red swipe will load it. Um, and that's how you set up. Now, you're going to blow up the board, essentially, and it's going to be different colors. So dual MP trainers will work. So if you're going double red, you have no use really for X-Pac as much anymore. So like double red MP. So then you're going to want to switch to like uh, Lacey Evans, who has two different colors, uh, because the trap gems are effectively 60 time multiplier. So it's like destroying a 60 multiply gem. So any bonus is good bonus to the gems. OK, let's get out here again. This is not going to be perfect example, but it will hopefully give you an idea um, for boss battle. Um, Corbin, mine has definitely, I got some Fury 2 on him. You probably won't have that. That's fine. It doesn't matter. You have what you have. Uh, this is just how you want to set them up. With the two trainers, this will load the reds. Otherwise, your reds would be loaded with the two MP trainers, right? Then you're going to put your traps down. So every one of those in boss battle is like a 60 time multiplier, right? Now you're going to fill your black gems. You could take a swipe if you wanted to hold that back. I don't see a reason to do that. I just fill my black gems. Keep the reds on the board if you can. Now with your destroy, destroy uh, is make sure you can destroy as many reds as you can. Also try and create cascades, but you want to get all of the reds to recycle right um and then you want to get you want to get trap gems too so just and be quick those are kind of the goals and that hit for like 820k right i'm just gonna let this auto out because then you're just recycling 
um, as it as it goes. I have a really good setup on mine, so you likely wouldn't hit for 820k on this one. That's fine. But if you took 820k um, times 60, that's about 49 mil. So a good cascade with your Corbin at six star, you can probably get with a with like Furies, probably somewhere between 30 uh, and 50k, depending on your damage that you have. Or sorry, 30 and 50 million. So 500 million boss, that's kind of. Um, chips away at it lower than that he'll be damaged that can help you get through it i mean that's one tenth at 500 million lower stuff it's better so that's kind of the thought with corbin there and hopefully uh that helps you if he's your guy there as soon as i get out of this match um we'll go and look at the other ones i probably should have saved this for the end um and chat feel free to chime in if you think anything is off base so far uh we still have to cover defensive and chaotic um, really guys most or even if you don't have a ko likely someone in your faction does have a ko so ideally for f even to get to 15s having one ko will be really helpful um you probably you may not have a knoxville or a zombie hbk that's fine but one ko you likely will have so try and find some ko's to uh, buddy with to get through these again it's not just about always using the pure damage guy it's about setting up your group to succeed um, to get through it and not waste time right so corbin's a good option here uh riddle if you have him up in particular like five star silver five star gold level uh maybe you took him six star before corbin um he will do okay with this move set um with this level it makes 19 gems you got the greens double green and the purple right here entourage for this one it, it was brought to my attention mutant seth probably wasn't fair to expect that's fine uh if it's mutant seth if you don't have mutant seth just go ahead and throw in uh jake the snake roberts he will get you loaded with a green match and get you started lacey evans here and green percentage or silence whatever you have so if Gargano is 15%, put him here. If you got um, Hall of Fame China, she's 20% and better put her there. Okay? So Riddle can do some damage uh, if you don't have KO. But Neutralize is what you're looking out of this one. So again, like we talked about out of this slot, with the focused one, make sure you're Neutralized guy uh, so you're not taking as much damage. Um, but not as important if you're using exhaust, but still important because it doubles the damage, right? So level up your neutralized guy. That's your long-term neutralized goal. So like a lot of people, it'll be Warrior, Mutant Seth, KO. Those are some really good neutralized guys. Uh, Riddle, okay-ish. Zombie Edge, okay-ish. Um, Z-Plate in particular with Zombie Edge uh, can grow his damage a little bit. Might be an okay choice if you got him. He's not. You probably don't, though. Um, maybe you do. I don't know. Anyway, those are some good choices. Um, Hall of Fame Brett, if you're taking, plan on taking him to six star, could do worse. Ricochet, maybe. You know, I don't know who you got, right? Maybe you got lucky on a bag or something. Uh, anyway, this slot, um, there's not a lot of good ones. Um, Riddle is there. For this one if you got acrobat taker zombie taker you could take him up or if you have him up you could use him uh, a lot of not a lot of high damage producers so keep that in mind if you don't have any of the high ones um finally we have defensive which uh if if walter is who you picked for your healers who he'd be a good one if you're trying to get through 15s a max healer will help a lot probably um at that level with the damage you're taking so if gable's your healer fine Sammy, uh, set up, maybe do about 25 million and not recycle, um, and high charge. So keep that in mind. Not a huge amount, but somewhat helpful. Uh, Yoko. Okay. If you got both gears, you probably don't. If you're watching this one, um, Cesaro, very choosy, but he can recycle a little better than a little better than Sammy, but slower to choose. He's an option. Um, so Walter is probably a really good choice for a healer to level 
He can generate a lot of red gems. Uh, he can hit his moves over and over. Uh, if you have his gear, and if you have gender, you can get some traps out. I don't anticipate him hitting him hitting super hard, but he's somebody that could be useful. Um, I would set him up like this, probably, um, and see what you can do uh, with him. Um, I think that's probably about it, guys. Try not to get super frustrated. If the freeze doesn't happen on turn one, I think it'll be much easier than I'm depicting this. However, I believe it will happen on turn one. Um, so prepare for that. Try and have somewhat of a game plan. Uh, share it. If, if Even if you don't share with your faction mates, if you got a group of guys that like faction boss in your faction, talk to them, share the video with them, get on the same page, have a plan. Some plan is better than no plan. Additional coaches that you have that might be useful. Um, Nash here. Scott Hall, I mean. Um, he generates two greens, so if you're using like somebody with a choose green, uh, and their silence gems he's choosing into it might be helpful. Uh, that's about what I got for you guys. Um, hopefully this is helpful. I'm trying really hard uh, to get on the same page with with your rosters, hopefully, for this mid guide. Let me know how it works for you. Um, I'll try to keep doing them. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. That really helps me out. And please comment on this and let me know how it's working for you. Um, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.